am Anil Kumar and here is another video to understand linear relations. We are connecting description with graph and equation. The question here is understand description of linear relations, draw a graph for each description and write an equation. Description given to us is line is parallel to the x-axis and the y-coordinate is always minus 5. Let us try to understand the description. Let's say that's our coordinate plane and what are we saying? We are saying that line is parallel to x axis. That means we are talking about a horizontal line, right? So we are talking about horizontal line, kind of like this, right? It is parallel to x axis. This is the x axis we are talking about. And y coordinate is always minus 5. That means somewhere here, right? So let me sketch the line now. So that is the line we are talking about which is parallel to x-axis and y-coordinate is minus 5, right? So that is how we can get the equation. Now, horizontal line has a slope of which the slope m is 0, horizontal line. And here y-intercept is what? y-intercept b is equals to minus 5. Now, if we consider the equation of the line of the form y equals to mx plus b, in that case, m is 0, so the first term is 0, so we get equation as y equals to minus b. Do you see? So that becomes the equation for our line, right? And it fits well with the description that y coordinate is always minus 5. Do you get the idea? So that is how the description, graph and equation is connected. Let's look into the second description now. It says the coordinate axis is always equal to y coordinate. The x coordinate is always equal to y coordinate. It means what? It means like we are considering the points like 0, 0, uh, 1, 1. These are same. Do you see? 2, 2 or minus 1, minus 1 or minus 2, minus 2. These kinds of coordinates, do you see? x coordinate is always equal to y coordinate. That is what we mean. Such a line will actually pass diagonally through the coordinate system. So we can sketch this line as the one which goes diagonally from coordinate 3, from quadrant 3, this is quadrant 3, to quadrant 1, right? And through origin. So if a line passes through origin, then y-intercept is? y-intercept is 0, right? Or we can say b equals to 0. And what is the slope for this line? Since the points are 1, 1, so rise over run is 1 over 1. Therefore, slope m is 1. Since we know y-intercept and slope, we can write equation in the form of y equals to mx plus b, right? mx plus b. Slope is 1 and y-intercept is 0. So that is b is 0. So the equation is y equals to x. You get an idea, right? So that becomes the equation of the line. That is how we can describe the line in equation form, right? So that is how we can connect this description with the diagram graph and the equation. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you.